Hi, Aries. How are you? So, let's do your reading. I'm just cleaning up. The reading is going to be a little bit uh, lengthier. We have some time. So I like it. that I can have a break, at least. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the Aries. This is going to be focusing on... Okay, sorry. An alarm. On love. Okay, Aries. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Now sit down, grab some tea. Okay. There's no cross-watching in this channel. We don't encourage that here. Um, you have your own zodiac, so just focus on your own zodiac. The title is for Aries. We can't flip this. It gets confusing if you would have to flip it. And I'm the caster, so it will not apply, even though you're cross-watching. doesn't. You can fit it. It's just uh, going to feed your ego. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the Aries. The extended is a little bit different also. It's a little more... I'm lengthier than usual because I will take a break before I go there. So I found a solution. It's like, oh, okay, let me take a break. Normally I just get through the whole zodiac and it's so draining. Let's see here. Okay. All right. I think we're ready. Okay. Ooh, wow. I like it. Ace of Wands. Let's go. Let's do this. This is what you have right now. This is you on Nitro. You're probably drinking that coffee in Starbucks. That one is strong, right? Ace of Wands is about uh, initiation, desire. Um, normally, I look at this also as the fifth house, so meaning Leo for you, Ascendant in Aries, right? Um, choosing your happiness making it happen, moving forward, you know, and um, unapologetic. Okay. You sense this, you feel it, you go for it. You have, you know, in a way you have nothing right now that you feel like can stop you. You just want to do stuff. Okay. Now, when I say you just want to do stuff, it's about your happiness. You want to date. Let's be honest. Ace of Wands, fifth house, you want to date. You want to get to know people. Phallic, okay? You want to probably just have some good old wham-bam. No judgment there, because that's phallic. You know. You want to explore your, your sensuality over here. There's that lust that you have with the Ace of Wands. Um, this is also studies. Um, this feels also like you want to venture out into um, studying something. Okay. That you have a passion for. As I say, you want to go to dance, dancing, you know, you want to go, I don't know, uh, study rock climbing, rappelling, you know, because this is active, very, very active um, card. So the desire is, uh, uh, okay, sorry about that. Give me one second, guys, because it's an important phone call. I'm going to have to open the door. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, Aries. Okay. So that's the Ace of Wands. Okay. It's just difficult because I work by myself and, and the whole thing. Okay. So let's see. The desire. Ooh, the moon. Okay. Cancerian. You might even want to buy some properties right now. Just giving you guys a heads up. You might even uh, feel uh, inclined to buy a new car. Uh, it can be also that the finances, you're feeling like, okay, well, how can I, you know, I'm not that liquid, meaning I need more, how to say this, is money. You can be saving money here. Um, I feel like a new car is something here that um, is being desired. Um, there is also some sort of, um, you know how when you look at the, how is your, the relationship of the parents, something like that. You might be thinking about your parents like, well, my parents are like this relationship. And my mom is like this and like that. There's something about mom energy here. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. Now, your desire mm, is also to clear. There's something that you want to clear about what is their intention towards you. What do they want? Do they uh, see that you are someone that they're going to be for long term? There is something that you're fearing here. 
I feel like you're trying to just live your life, ace of wands, but you don't want to address what is in your subconscious. Okay. So you're just putting up, in a way, a front. Ace of wands with the moon. That's the fear. That's the doubt. And you're moving forward with the Ace of Wands. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. You're trying to understand what kind of person is this really? You have normally trust issues. This is emotional issues. You feel that it is too unstable for you. This is something that is not good because it's erratic. You're looking at them as someone who's immature with regards to expressing their feelings. Someday, there will be all about you. And in the next two months, you haven't heard from them. They're telling you all the sweet things that they want to do with you, you know, vacation, going out, whatever that, you know, the normal people would go, would do as in the initial start of the date, but then they lack the follow-up. They have so much promises to you that then it didn't turn out. So now you have like, okay, well, I don't want to invest my feelings here if this person is this way, because I want something balanced and they don't show that. That's a page. They don't show you the um, the qualities of a person that is ready for a serious relationship. And it's not about age. Uh, isn't it? There's the IQ and EQ, emotional quotient and intelligent, right? The IQ. So, well, it's Sustagen EQ. <laughs> I think it's Sustagen. <laughs> there is that energy where this person might not be um, smart with regards to dealing with emotion. They're not equipped. Mm. Temperance. Sag. Acting immature. Fun loving. Does whatever they want with their life. And it for you, it triggers you. It's like, yeah, it is not good. You know, it's like there is that soul connection. There is that healing that's happening between the two of you. But. It just does not materialize as a solid connection. It never goes to the whole, we're exclusive, we're together. You can meet them halfway, they can meet you halfway, but there's always something. I feel like it's the stability of the relationship is lacking. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. It's my mom now. <laughs> now, it's, okay. The stability of the relationship. And if you're just gonna complain that your reading gets interrupted, then go go get your own card. Okay. I'm sorry that I have to pick up my phone. I work by myself. I don't have an assistant. King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords with the temperance. It feels that You're just ready to be done with this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what kind of kind. It just doesn't matter. You're the king of swords. I feel like this whole situation has gone too old. You lost interest already. Mm, that's what I'm feeling here. You lost interest. Page of Wands, yeah, but I like it, you're the art, look at that, earlier I said it, right, arts, arts, you have the arts. Page of Wands here, you want to be creative with your life, you want to do what is for, you know, like, you want to do something fulfilling for yourself, I see that. Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands, it shows that you are 
trying to recreate some things during your, your, you know, your teens or college that you never got to practice and you're going back to it. Okay, so it could be um, doing a lot of things because you're trying to reconnect with your child side. Ten of Pentacles, you see the stability of the relationship, Moon and the Ten of Pentacles. Now this does not show that you're going to get this. With this combination, it only means that it can never get there to find, you know, like this is finality. Mm -hmm. You doubt that you guys can ever get there. You just don't know. Mm. Five of Cups. You really doubt. Okay. Page of Cups with the Five of Cups. The doubt that you have for this person is more than the love now. Because remember, you don't care anymore with the King of Swords. They have let you down so much with promises that you can't look at them anymore. Before, you're open to it with a page. But how many screw-ups, how many cancellations, how many times that they will say they will see you, that they will text you, they will call you, but again, lacks the follow-up. So it doesn't matter if, you, if they love you or you love them, but the consistency is not there. Again, it's the moon. Consistency is not there. You know that consistency is the key because that's a sixth house. Before you go to a marriage, it has to be consistent. Fifth, fifth house, you date. Sixth house, if you guys can consistently build the relationship, bam. Seven of wands. Uh, seven of wands. <laughs> uh, seventh house. Consistency is the key for any relationship. Hmm. Five of Pentacles and the Temperance. The person is difficult because they want it difficult. <laughs> you know, like when someone is just not a happy camper, that's them. Mm -hmm. You're the Five of Cups or the Five of Pentacles. They don't want to talk to you. You're upset with it also. Okay, this is going to be very, very challenging. It feels like no one is trying to work this out. Eight of Wands with the King of Swords. You might be sending a message to this person. I feel like it's you. And they're going to be reading it. They don't look too happy with that message that you're sending them. Again, I don't know what it is. Yet. Remember, it is a prediction. They're expecting for you to get in contact with them. Okay. I see you. Oh, I see you. This is the part where I keep going, okay? They're wondering what you're doing. They're the Four of Cups. And then the Page of Wands. They're wondering. Wonder if you're gonna reach out to them. They're waiting. I don't know how long. You're the Five of Cups, so it doesn't look like you're gonna reach out. I mean, if you're upset, you're upset. I mean, you can just go, okay, okay, fine, I'll text you, I'll message you, I'll call you, I'll see you. No, I don't see that happening. On your end. Yep, they're waiting. They're waiting and you're waiting. See, who makes the effort here? It's so unstable that nobody makes a move anymore. It's a mess. This whole thing is a mess. It's a mess. And I say the seven of ones earlier, now it came. Now you're just stopping everything. Now you're just saying, no. No, no, no. Stop saying sorry. Stop texting me. Stop reaching out to me. You're inconsistent. Mm. And the Seven of Wands fights for their stability. Six of Wands is their success. So now you're saying it's like, I'm doing well even without you. I'm even better when I'm not with, that, with, I'm, when I'm not with you. Mm -hmm. 
So there it is. Restricting them from coming towards you. I'm surprised you guys are not breaking up yet. Not at all. It's like, so this is an ongoing thing, huh? Okay. There's no sword smudge, you know? It only means that Civil Five Miracles ghosted you, no contact. Because swords would be like texting, messaging. Eight of Wands is communication, but normally those are like, I'm gonna see you, I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna drive, you know, stuff like that. Oh, hangman. Five Pentacles with hangman, no movement. Mm. Jesus is like, there's nothing here. They're thinking if they should compromise, they're thinking if they should give what you want. They're thinking that if they should be the bigger person, should they be the bigger person or who's gonna be the bigger person? Mm. Under the Eight of Wands. Ooh! Four of Wands. Now that's a twist. Because that's the communication. I was like, I wonder what you're going to text them. I wonder what does it mean? King of Swords with Eight of Wands. Well, someone is moving forward with this. The King of Swords. And I told you this is you. This is a message. They're going to read it. And it's about relationship. So you will talk to them finally about the relationship. It doesn't mean... That, oh, let's be together. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. This is how it works. There is a message about relationship that has been on hold for the longest time. Okay? So let me continue this reading, guys. Link down there in the description box. Um, we'll see in extended how it goes. Probably different questions that you have inside your head. Um, we've changed the format there. I'm going to take a break. And then I'll, back, I'll be back meaning doing the reading. So it's a little bit more lengthier than usual. So I don't have to catch my breath. So join me there. Um, we'll see as much as possible as we can um, with uh, the cards that you have right now. You have Pisces, you have Capricorn, you have Cancer, Aqua, Sag over here, and uh, Scorpio right there. Okay? Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Aries.